What is up guys, your boy Devin or Divine Fuse back here with a brand new YouTube video. Before I get into the video, um, basically I just want to say one thing. Um, I'm going to shout out to this one guy, um, one of my friends, we talk a lot over Skype a lot. And um, he's, he's one of my team members, Divine Saber. You're going to have to go check him out. He has been um, remaking a lot of a, um, he's been making a lot of a, um, YouTube channels and he really needs to, um, he really needs more help on his YouTube channels. He used to have 140 subscribers. And I think he needs that one boost to get him back to that that goal that he used to be at. He need, his goal used to be 150, but since YouTube has been taking a lot of subscribers away from him, he just has been um, just taking off like so many so many um, YouTube channels that he can't take it anymore. So he's sticking out with this channel right now. And I, I need you guys to go sub to him. He's at almost at 29 subscribers. Maybe we're just gonna make him go to probably like 30 subscribers or probably 50. Um, I. I think he really needs it, so I, I think you just need to really like sub to him. It looks like he um, uploads two days. Basically, in this video, we are gonna um, what's it called? Basically, in this video, we are gonna be doing a thumbnail tutorial. Um, thumbnails I used to used to make. Um, I have other thumbnails I made recently, like three days ago. I'll make another video on that shortly, but I'm gonna be making a video how I used to make my thumbnails, an easier way for you guys can um, cooperate and better make your thumbnails more efficient and um, better for you guys as you viewers to watch. So basically we're going to open up a, a website called pixlr.com. It's free for a for both Windows and um, anything possibly even for your phone or anything iPad to anything you guys use for mobile or editing. So it's the best one out there that's free. Um, this one's basically like another re it's like a remake to uh, um, a Photoshop but it has a little bit of things that Photoshop don't have, and this thing is probably probably the best way to use than other than Photoshop. So um, basically, we're gonna go ahead and open up an image. Make sure you go check out like a thumbnail image. So I'm gonna go pick out my thumbnail. Image. So this is my image. If your image is real small and you guys want to resize it, you guys can go ahead and go to over here with this image. Go to image size. Make sure it's, it has to be at 1280 and 720p getting your guys' picture. I mostly like to um, add an, add a filter into it. I use um, Caucasian Blur. It just covers half of it. And yeah, so basically, we're going to go ahead and add our text. So once we add our text, I'm just going to add this white. Because you know why not? Because white actually blends in with blue. White and actually blend them with any color so we're gonna have to make this size to 130 once we do that we're gonna choose our font if you guys want to download a custom font or anything like that you guys want to like download a new font for you guys this thing make sure to use dofont.com it's the best one out there and press ok and once you guys want to like want to make this bigger you have to go over here right click it go to rest your size later go to edit retransform and boom you guys gonna like resize it biggest you want um, you guys don't have to make it big, but I make it big so so like the people are that are watching the video or that clicked on the video, it's easier for them to see what the um, video is called or what the video thumbnail looks like. Using how to make free thumbnails, and the, the reason why I added free um, in yellow or like a different color than white is because I wanted to show the viewers that I this is the um this is like the main thing like the. the this is like the reasoning word that I'm gonna be putting down all these words. Once guys has merged down all these words down here, you guys gonna go ahead and add. Go over here where my mouse is at, where it says layer styles. It's the third button. It has a star next to like a cracked paper. And you guys can go ahead and add outer glow. Don't use drop shadow. Drop shadow is like a different reasoning for using uh, for thumbnails. Outer glow is the best one for um thumbnails and if you guys want to add like an advertisement like you guys are showing that you can make cool thumbnails like pretend your videos about thumbnails right or like something or like guns or stuff you guys want to add it like a png file or something like that well i'm gonna use my friend's thumbnail right here i made for him so i'm basically just gonna put this here and then um i'm just gonna go ahead and pre-transform this the reason why i'm putting this in my video because I'm showing you guys that I um, I know how to make good good enough good thumbnails, and um, I'm actually just like advertising the people like oh look check this out I make cool thumbnails so I'm just gonna put this in here this down 
boom. So once we have done that, you guys can go ahead and go over here, free transform it so you guys can see. There we go. So basically, there you go. You guys had your guys' great new thumbnail. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys can um smash like on this video if you guys want to see a, like a part two to the video like how to make a different thumbnail or like Minecraft thumbnail or if you guys want to see like how to make a banner like I know how to make some of those some pretty nice ones you guys can see that I make some cool ones on my channel and I hope you guys like the video this has been your boy Divine Divin or Divine Fuse and I'm out peace